throat. So I've not got to watch Ginger play much this week. I've not got to watch anybody play much this week. I have a really weird sleep schedule, but it seems like he's made some concessions to try to make the mirror match better. He's added a third uh, fine broker. He's up to contempt count. He's moved Carnage Tyrant to the main, Reapers to the main, and Scavenging Grounds. Or scaven Death Court Scavengers out to the main. So I'm kind of... Uh, Interested how it'll end up being. I'm kind of curious why he cut Relic Seekers. I wonder if it's just because you can't afford to have four plus six mana spells or whether he just doesn't think they're good and just thinks Carnage Tyrants are better. I'm being distracted by someone in my hall, I'm sorry. We're clearly going to play first, and this hand does seem keepable. Well, there seems to be less mono red in general in the format, but it's a non-zero number. They are some of them, but uh, he did. We do have two uh, wild growth walkers in the sideboard, and uh, some necrotic wounds in the sideboard, and a third death Course scavenger. So hopefully, we won't be that bad towards red. And by the way, our opponent apparently f6 his first turn and discarded basic mountain. That's peculiar. Hmm. The sad thing is we could still lose this game if we don't hit our land relatively soon. It's really good in the mirrors because it like forces a real removal spell out of them. I, I don't know how good it is overall. We're going to find out. Like I think the card's pretty good. Like It definitely passes my seal of approval. I think blue-red's really strong. I don't know if we need the X. So before the stream started, I was thinking to myself, like, what would I do in these exact scenarios? Because I believe that uh, Electromancer is the strongest card in the blue-red decks, but, like, we can still just lose to Niv-Mizzet? Hmm. Kind of interesting, like, I kind of really just want to kill it, but if I kill it, we could just lose. I'm definitely considering bolting it, but it's like, if it was a, like, a cast down, I would 110% kill it. But the fact that this gives them an actual land makes it a little more tricky. But we're never going to win without lands of our own. It's kind of weird that they didn't attack. Does that mean they plan on blocking and using a shock? I don't, wouldn't think so. So it seems like not attacking was just wrong.
It's kind of scary to me that they didn't uh, use the radical idea. Really need this land this turn. Like, it's imperative. Oh, right on time coming to play tap land. Right on time. Well. Should have only attacked the Death Gorge Scavenger. I apparently didn't read this card well enough. And that's on me. I didn't realize it was exiled stuff as well. Wow. Oh, fun times. Another Electromancer. Assume he about has to have a removal spell for this at this point. If not, that attack was kind of weird. I probably should have cast a Ravenous Chupacabra before I attacked. Because now if they have a chemist's insight, we get kind of punished. But I don't think I was targeting an Electromancer anyway, so I'm not sure that it mattered. But maybe it matters. Maybe I was supposed to play this and just target this and force them to play that and then attack and remove that. Looks like that's what I was supposed to do. Battle of Fire main deck? It didn't attack again. I really don't know what I'm supposed to play here. Guess I'm just going to play this. I get back to Vivian?
We are really far behind this game. They have drawn seven more cards than us. Hey, Josh, what's up? Oh, that's a card. I think I'm gonna take this one. I don't just wanna cast a Givian or Vivian and Minus because then the electrostatic Mancer just kills it with an attack. They're getting to the point of the game where they're going to need, like, Fight With Fires and Bane Fires to potentially close it. Which is why I took the Death Forge Scavengers to gain a little life. It also lets me play Double Spell next turn if I don't need to play the Vivian itself. Playing Double Spell feels pretty nice. We know they already have the boat. Uh, I believe it's possible. Oh, wow. Well, we're we're just dead now. I don't think we really have an out anymore. I think it's possible. I have no idea if it's real. I definitely think it's possible. All right, well, we don't really have an out anymore. Well, they they I think they knew that this season would be a bust, though I did think this season would be better than what it is. I mean, I guess it's a creature, but a creature doesn't really seem like it does anything for me at the moment. <clears throat> a radical idea they can buy back, but I still feel like I just have to gain the life. I probably punt at this game. We're gonna look pretty dead here. Hey Beastie, what's up? Draw exactly on land next turn. I guess we can kill this and then gain two. I'd oh, have experimental frenzies as well. Wow. And they just happen to have a the. Just having to have the third Drake sitting on top of their deck. Well, that's... That's most certainly game. Well, I have to block. I just don't have an out now, do I? I guess my only out at this point is drawing a finality. So that means I should block with this too. So I take seven down to one. Cast this, kill this, attack, go to three, play a blocker. Blocker blocks that. I'm still dead. Yeah. Might as well just preserve our life total. We don't really have outs. Alright, well, that's a game. I think it's been pretty good so far. Oh, we certainly want this. Probably want these as well. We probably want these as well.
kind of think cards like this are just too slow here, but maybe I'm wrong. I think I actually want these too. I think I basically want anything that can kill an Electromancer on three without uh, costing us too much. I have to get rid of eight cards to bring all of that in. That's a lot of cards. It's still just a lot of cards. Yeah, but I'm just dead on board if I do all that. Maybe we can't play the dresses. We don't really have a lot of counter spells, so maybe the dresses don't matter. We lost that game. Our opponent F6 their turn one, and we still just lost that game because we missed too many land drops. Hopefully, they won't have an answer to the Wild Growth Walker. They had an answer to the Wild Grove Walker. They have a shock in their hand, too, which makes the Branch Walker kind of useless, and we're currently just missing our third land drop two games in a row. Can't win games missing your third land drop. Yeah, we already expected him to have that because of the land they led with on turn one. Fun magic. I think I have to kill it. At least they're missing land drops too this game. They were not last game. They have a third shock. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I don't actually want that either, I just want lands. Kind of doubles as a land, I guess, in case they played Crackling Drake, but... Oh, they do have a third shock. Fun times. I 
Uh, tilt. Well, it looks like we're about to get arc lighted, which means we basically have to draw a land next turn or we lose. And they hit a second. Wonderful. Uh, I think we lose now even if we hit the land. Don't think we have an out now. It's okay, we didn't hit the land anyway. It's only turn 11. We played multiple explore cards. Why would we expect to have lands? We're still dead though because it's just way too easy for them to cast three spells. It's practically impossible for them not to cast three spells or like play a giant flyer. They do cast all three spells, we just concede. They have to hope that somehow they brick off, which, which is literally close to impossible. We had our good cards, we just couldn't ever get the mana. Spell? Any spell? They didn't have a spell. They'll probably use a bunch of spells on their own Electromancer. If they can. If we come back and win this game, I'm going to be shocked. Still technically ahead in the race as long as they can buy back the arc lights this exact turn. Like we'd have to draw a removal spell. I have a radical idea too, which means they get to buy them back. Oh, no they don't. They do get to trade though. So we need a removal spell this turn or the game's over. We do have a lot of removal spells, but... Yeah, that's game. All they do have to do is block one of these with the Electromancer and attack. It's kind of risky, though, because if I had an instant speed removal spell, I wouldn't have used it.
Guess we'll leave that on top. Seems like that can be useful somehow here. Third Dark Light Phoenix. There's 17 cards left under deck, so like getting to all four Phoenixes isn't unreasonable. Well, that's three of them. Oh no, that's all four of them. Apparently, I missed one somewhere. I didn't see it. That's unfortunate. Like I said, can't really win too many games where you miss land drops three in both games. It's a pretty hard match for the black-green decks to begin with. But he had draws that I think we typically beat. A really encouraging way to start a league. Just basically play two non-games. It's part of magic, though. Can't be upset about it. I don't know if there was decisions I could have made that could have changed the outcome of game one. I'm pretty confident there wasn't for game two. Alright, whatever. I'll keep it. Well, fun times. Control deck when we had the mulligan to five. Mulligan to five, draw two effectively dead cards. There's some four color pile again. We lost to this four color pile the other night. It's infuriating to lose to this deck that's literally unplayable. Like, I'm just going to sit here and get salty about it. I'm already pretty salty. I was salty before the stream started and didn't want to play Magic at all. So, like, these first three games certainly haven't improved the mood. Right on time, yeah. Fucking Jade Light Ranger. Every time we get paired versus this four color pile, we literally just have non-operating hands and just lose. Like, we've not got to play Magic versus it. Please, a Magic card. Oh, oh wait, I have this thing. Triple blue, triple red in their deck that's also splashing white and black. Uh, well, I don't want any of my cards, so. Do you have another counter spell? You do not. Screw normally beats Flood, though, so if he keeps playing a land every turn, I like our odds. They shocked that time, by the way. They shocked. 
I don't know what they shocked for, but they shocked. I mean, it has to be Teferi. There's not another white card that's playable. Why did they shock? <laughs> like, what? What? Are they about to play Chromium or something wild? I guess they could just be for Chromium. What turn is this? Turn nine again. We don't even have a fifth land. They didn't tap any white mana, so it's just... Oh, it's Explosion. Sure. Huh, I guess if you get flooded, that's a good card to have. Thought we had a chance for a minute. We didn't. At any point. Do keep casting spells? I guess I'm actually just going to keep that. I don't know what they're playing, but... Feels like that card might be useful versus literally anything at this point. There's a Teferi. Goodbye cards, you'll be missed. I have all the mana in the world. I shouldn't have six. Well, I would normally say that I thought we had a chance, but I still just don't think we have a chance. Guess I'm going to play this. It's the one that's hardest to kill for a removal spell, I guess. I guess we'll take the removal spell that can kill another dragon. Just in case they have another, like, Niv Mizzet or whatever. And a counter spell. I assume at some point they're just going to cast another explosion and I'm going to whine. Could be James. Well, that's unfortunate. I also have an Assassin's Trophy, so. And an Eldest Reborn. Uh, how do we beat any of this stuff? Am 
I allowed to be offended that we're losing to this? Uh, I'm Garf. I'll let Sean be Wayne. That was a good draw from an even board state. Yes, I said even board state. He has a thousand and twelve mana. And we have no cards. Oh, well, we have to get pretty lucky now. To draw an assassin's trophy or in a contempt so we have three things we can draw and that's just to keep playing the game we could be just dead anyway like definitely just dead right Uh, tilted. I just want to play magic deck. What's so wrong about just wanting to play magic? Uh, don't need this. Don't need this. Kind of don't want these either. <clears throat> Maybe I'm supposed to though. Not gonna play these. Uh. Is it bad that I kind of want to take these out because of the stupid Eldest Reborns? I just don't think these are any good. So I'll try to be aggressive, I guess. I guess I'll keep it. If anybody can see the smirk on my face as the last game we didn't have double green, we mulliganed to five, then didn't have double green, and then this game we just don't even have a green. Just have this weird smirk on my face. I guess I don't want that right now. Guess I have to keep that. Because they've already showed us Death and Clarion, I don't think I'm supposed to play this. Wasn't going to cast that thing anyway, so it's a pretty easy one to discard.
Yeah, not too surprising. Land? Not a land. So it was a play mistake. I should have waited to the end step. I have F6 and Natus right now. I don't really think there's anything they can play with two mana, but I don't know. Should have waited just in case. I'm still ditching it, even though it was a useful thing. Feel like I have to have lands at all draw steps at this point in the game. I don't think we win with any card in our deck other than Carnage Tyrant. I think the other cards just potentially give us extra turns here and there. Oh cool, another Teferi. What fun. The sad thing is we know they have access to Eldest Reborn, so like the Carnage Tyrant doesn't even necessarily win. They tap too many mana for the Eldest Reborn. It was a mistake. I should have. I had. I had to play this, um, so that I'd have an extra land for this. And that's basically a hundred percent game now. Like, we were at, like, probably 97% before, but I literally think that they're very likely at a stone 100 now. I assume that we don't get another turn, really. Even if we do, Carnage might not have been the best card to get. I was kind of hoping they sideboarded out their counter spells and that we can somehow get them with the Vivian, but... That's not realistic because they're going to have some kind of counter spells and the Vivian's just never going to resolve. <clears throat> and they could just have another Eldest Reborn or anything. Or they could deal the full 20 damage this turn. Who knows? Like, all of those things are pretty reasonable. Oh, and it's Nicobolus. Fun. Double Clarion. That works too. Of 
Or they could just be doing it for the laugh link, because the laugh link's good enough to beat us. Goodbye, Vivian. Just letting our opponent have his fun. If I wasn't streaming, I'd have already conceded this game like four turns ago, probably. Yeah, James, I've noticed both times that I've got paired versus them that they seem to have no problems casting their spells, yet I struggle to cast them in two and three color decks. The Mega Millions winner numbers announced for a record 1.68 or 1.6 billion jackpot. Maybe I should buy lottery tickets. Might do better at that than Magic. There, opponent's zero and four. With our powers combined, we are zero six. I guess I'd rather play this one. Maybe I'm supposed to play around Syncopate. I doubt it. Apparently opponent either is going to use two spells or hasn't read Justice Track. I'm not sure which yet. Okay, two spells. <laughs> Wasn't exactly sure which it was yet.
Miss Landrop five again. It's either every game tonight or every game but one that we've like not curved well. Maybe there should be more lands on the deck. We're playing misplaced gingers build though, so take that for whatever you will. I assume he's figured out the lands. She seems like he just like carbon copied Lily's lands or whatever, but it's still fine. Hey. I guess I'm going to play this because I want lands bad enough. And I don't have another play, really. Anything goes to the graveyard that is not a land. Yes, even a card that good. I can technically put it back in my hand. And we may later. Later is now, apparently. What is this? So many cars. Can't play them. Could have cast Vivian, but I really just don't think there's any point of casting Vivian. Maybe it would have found us lands, but like, it's just too easy for him to ferry it and tick it or duck it. I feel like I'm just going to need it at some other point in the game. Of course, all of that was assuming that I would just, you know, draw lands with enough draw steps and enough uh, explorers, but that's not necessarily the case, I guess. Alright, well, just cast you into a blatant counter spell. No, I'll just cast you. Six mana? What's six mana? What's seven mana? Alright, I don't know what's eight mana that they would want to play on their main phase. It's like clearly an X spell, but just don't know why you'd want to cast it on your main phase. Looks like it's exp expanse. Second time the memorial's been annoying. <clears throat> it's a lot of times considering we've played almost no games. I guess I'd rather just play this. It's like pretty reasonable that I have Clarion. So now's the turn that they're obviously going to have a Teferi and I have to make a decision next turn. I 
fought out a repressed F6. That's a good one. It's almost good enough to try to resolve this if they tap out. Probably will if they try to tap if they tap out. Uh, fine, I'm casting it. I got her at four life, and I still just don't think I can win this game. I think they have too many cards, too much mana, and we just are stuck with a handful of cards that we can't really cast. Land, please. No, they're not land. <clears throat> we're not beating these control decks with main deck Carnage Tyrants that we're drawing in our opening hands. And I'm pretty sure that these matches are one-sided in Black Green's favor. Don't think I'm playing bad. Maybe I am and I just don't realize it, but I don't think I am. I just feel like every game we've not been able to play our spells. Positive note is he probably can't settle and stop us from killing Teferi. That's not true. He can probably do both. Yay! Can I concede? Maybe he will counterspell you. I have to use the best card of my hand as a potential bait spell just cause if we don't get this off the board the game is over. Well, it's 12 cards deeper in their deck, 13 if they 
Put this in the graveyard. They didn't. They kept it. That's probably a bad sign too. Main phase using this. That's a bad sign. Oh, look, it's a Teferi. Boring. Will not concede. Play on Facebook. Oh, it's six minutes slower than us so far. Hey, they're back. All right, well, <clears throat> just going to counter spell. We try to kill that, so I guess I need to try to play two spells. Kingdom for a land. Don't have a land. <clears throat> Didn't try to cast a contempt though, because like it was like pretty obvious he's just gonna use a counter spell. I don't know why they keep using Teferi on, or as Kanta on their turn. I guess they're untapping it with Teferi, but I don't feel like they need more cards to win right now. It feels like they just need to speed up their pace of play. Like what they're doing is technically correct, but I don't know if it's correct on Magic Online. Just 
Corallians a game kind of quick. I don't think there's much I can even do. Just gonna buy back the Carnage Tyrant and try one more time, I guess. No, no, use Rao. Okay. <laughs> they used to ferry, skip to their second main phase, then uses Rao. Apparently I didn't tap black mana. Maybe they only have one settle and one Nova. That's not realistic. Even if that was realistic, they'd probably have four Clarions and just able to cast two pretty easily at this point. Hey, we dropped five minutes and six seconds. Our opponent's taken 15 minutes. I'm not going to concede our spot. This is just me being an asshole because I'm in a salty mood. Cards so good. Sort of effect so good. That Bane Fire in their main deck. I would rate that as a fairly unplayable card in the main deck, but that's okay. We're losing to a lot of cards that I think are bad today. Definitely don't want that. I definitely do want these. Definitely do want this. Pretty sure I want these. They're kind of discard spells. I'm pretty sure I want these. 
don't think I care about these cards that like randomly die to shock. I don't think I care about this. I just don't think I care about these either. Maybe I can get rid of the Assassin's Trophies. Seems like we have enough other things to kill. Feels like we have enough other things to kill Teferi and stuff, but... I don't know. Like, giving them land seems, like, pretty bad, so. It's the best hand we've had tonight. By a pretty fair margin, even. I don't care a whole lot if he clarions my double J Light Ranger away. <laughs> Guess I'll keep that. Feels like I probably need him at some point. Who's the one he saw? Sure, there's no clarion before we play another spell. Card's weird to me. I don't think it's particularly good, but it's whatever. So we're just gonna take random removal spell and try to push this. <laughs> Binding's weird to play here. Main or main phase chemistry's insight's weird to me as well. I'll go ahead and use this before before they have the opportunity to get down to remorseful cleric that I don't know why they sided in. <clears throat> I just don't think it's good enough. Your deck's not really a graveyard deck. A few synergies, and if it was like a reasonable card, that'd be one thing, but like it's such a bad card. Let's start with this. A bunch of ionizes and this thing, so I guess we're taking this thing. Oh, I can't play that. See if they care about a squeeze squire enough to counterspell it. Oh. Never mind. Apparently they're gonna do something. They drew settled wreckage. Cute.
Guess I'll use this first. I don't really want that. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't press F6. I might want to use the blood flask. Definitely want to use the blood fast. So we'll see if we can get another dress, but we're coming to play Tapland. Do they have to have an answer for the Carnage? If they have an answer for the Carnage, that means the Vivian Order will resolve. If Vivian resolves, we can kill the binding. You do your second main face, pal. Hey, Newman, thank you so much for the host. Highly appreciate it. I see that you play this deck a lot. Do you have better success with it than I do? Because I just get crushed when I play it. Um. Well, I was going to cast the other one, but. I guess we'll just play this one again. I don't think I'm going to take any more damage from the blood fast since they've already showed us main fires. Thank you for the follow as well, Newman. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to leave that up there. I'm just leaving that up there for tonight. Um, so tell our opponent that it doesn't work because it's a sorcery. So apparently our opponent's apparently a new player. Uh, I was asking, like, I'd noticed you'd been playing uh, some Golgari on your stream. I was curious how your results had been, because mine have been super lackluster. Like, I feel like I can't win with the deck. <laughs> An evil pink flamingo card. There's nothing evil about those guys. Those guys are just so happy. There is... There is nothing evil evil about those guys. <laughs> those two pink outfit guys, one of them is me, and one of them is the sponsor for the stream who sponsored it for the entirety of next year. But it's from a scene from one of my favorite TV shows called Boston Legal at a Halloween party. 
we just put our pictures on there, or I, well, I or Corey uh, put their pictures, or put our pictures on their bodies. I went like forty-five, maybe fifty percent. Like I get trash. I don't think I'm gonna change anything from the play to the draw. But Sean Corp, um, don't know. I guess he would be this one sponsored the stream for the entirety of next year. So he doesn't actually have a graphic or anything. So. I already had that laying around from an inside joke, so I just threw it up. Guess we'll keep this hand, even though it's pretty horrendous, and I feel like we're just going to lose if we miss land drops, but... I also feel like there's a good chance that I should be sideboarding out more of those than I did. I should probably be sideboarding at least one of them out. Wrecked. But on the positive note, we didn't have the mana for it anyway. Their, their Death and Clarion Cleansing Nova deck is sideboarding in Honor Guard. That's kind of odd to me. Literally just going to start casting three fours. Three fours are nice. Um, I've done really well with Boros Angels. I think we're nine and one with it on stream and um, uh, X and one with it off stream as well. I've only played it like three times though, so it's not like a super huge sample size or anything. I don't under, I don't actually understand how it wins. I just keep winning with it. Like it's clunky and none of the cards feel especially powerful except for history. Yeah, but do the big butts really matter in this format? It feels like there's a thousand ways to kill them, even if they do have big butts. Guess I'm just going to pass and use the Contempt on something. Either to the Catly, or a Niv-Mizzet, or a Teferi, or just, just something. Is there an enchantment in our deck, or an artifact? I don't remember. But we played two pretty long games. I guess I'm just going to play this. Not really care too much if he gets counterspelled. I got to care about this card an extreme amount, so. And I don't care if they have a Shocker or a Lightning Strike to finish off the Vivian. I don't, I don't actually think our Vivian's great in this match. I brought it in just in case they were sideboarding in Lyra's and like Niv Mizzets, which some of the plans do, but I don't think this guy is, so like maybe I just shouldn't have brought it in at all.
Huh. I don't know if I just want to play a Carnage Tyrant right here, or whether I want to try to kill this stuff. Other way I deal more damage attacking first, right? I'm just going to cast a Carnage Tyrant. They're down to two cards. If they have a removal spell and they kill the Carnage Tyrant, or if they have a mass removal spell and they kill the Carnage Tyrant and kill the Vivian, like, we still have the other Carnage Tyrant, which should be good enough, and then we have the uh, find to get both Carnage Tyrants back. Like, I just don't think they can beat us if we go Carnage Tyrant over the next, or do, like, Carnage Tyrants four out of the next five turns or whatever. I've been losing to a uh, a what was it a four color like a four color controlish deck that has like the fairies niv mizzes and just general Jeskai stuff. I'm probably going to time out this match, but if they have firm control of the game, I may concede since I don't want to win that way. But I literally just don't think they can... Oh, I guess that's going to be uh, four turns in a row, then. Our opponent's a new player, so I feel like kind of uh, mean for being rude at how slow they were playing now. I've been losing mirror matches, too. Like, all the mirror matches I play have had... Well, this is the first version that I played that's had Carnage Tyrant main and, like, Midnight, uh, Midnight, what do you call it? Midnight Reaper main and, um, the Extra Content main. Like, all the other versions I've played haven't had those cards. Like, most of them. And then, like, all of our opponents have been having the, uh, what do you call it? The... Uh, the Stupid Sagas, the Eldest Reborn loops with their Fiend Brokers, and like that's felt pretty hard to beat when I don't have access to it. Just going to keep those. What do you type laugh out loud for? I wasn't paying attention. I'd have been playing. He might have typed that when I cast the second Carney. Well, can't counterspell this and save a settle, so. Hey, we won. Our opponent is 0 and 5. And we are one and two. We're on our way. To infinity and beyond. We did it. We won. There ain't no stopping us now. We started this league at zero five. This, uh, the version of it I'm playing is just misplaced Ginger's version right now. And I'm not, I'm not loving it. But, like, I know he's done a lot of work. Like, it's like, maybe I'm misplaying. I've not got paired versus many black green decks recently at all. Like, like, earlier last week I was getting paired versus between 2 and 3 a league on average. I would say something like 2.7 per league because I wasn't always getting 3. I was sometimes getting 2. Like, sometimes I'd get one or sometimes I'd get four. But I'd say it's somewhere around, like, 2.6 or 2.7. I haven't been updating my spreadsheet um, since guilds came out because I've been super lazy and addicted to Path to Exile. So, like, these are just stone guesses and they could be accurate. But I'd say it was around 2.6, 2.7. But, like, this week I'm getting paired versus them. It feels like one or less a league. Or not this week. Like, towards the end of last week. I know today's technically Monday, but, like, so basically, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I felt like I've got paired by about less than one mirror a league. I just keep getting hands like this, to where like I just have to throw it back.
guess we'll leave with the Memorial to Folly, because it's the most annoying one. Does mean I'll probably have to take two damage next turn, though. That way I have the access to double green in case we draw a Jade Light Ranger for turn three. But I don't actually value my life total very much in these games. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and dump that, too, because our hand's so bad. I've not got to try that deck. I want to try it. I think uh, Jim Davis called it Duncan Dinos. And I want to try the Elf Ball deck as well. But the uh, there was no 5-0 list this week. So like that's why I kind of like went back to just the boring normal decks. So like I'm playing this deck now. And then later today. Well, I guess technically Tuesday. Um... I'm going to try the Drake deck that Manguchi has on his Channel Fireball article. Don't have it. He had it. Rip. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, for the most part, I generally like trying new and fun decks. I just, there's none posted for some reason. I wonder if that's a conscious change or just like a mess up in the system. I messaged Chris and Lee about it, but I got no response. Since they didn't play a second blue mana, I'm just going to go with the Vivian, but originally I planned on just going ahead and wasting the Memorial of the Folly to get back the Midnight Reaper. Uh, apparently tournaments are going to go off in four hours, so maybe my plans for the Drake stream a little later are not going to happen. No, main deck negate, you got us. I know he wrote an article on, I oh got, I am bad at words, uh, Cool Stuff Inc. maybe? But I had not got a chance to read it yet. Uh, the pop-up was saying that MTG Online is going to go down in 4 hours and 30 minutes. Which is kind of weird, because doesn't it normally go down on Wednesdays? Why is it going down on Tuesday? Like, am I just wrong about what day of the week it is? I think it's... Oh, it is Wednesday! Holy shit! I am wrong about what day of the week it is. I'm off an entire day. Wow. Well, I'm impressed with myself. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, feels great to have no responsibilities ever. Please don't counterspell this. I just I just want a humble land from it. That's not a land. That's also not a land. I just put one of these on top of my deck with a memorial to folly. It seems like I'm kind of foolish if I don't keep the other one too then, right? Oh, we're getting, just getting smashed this game as well. I just don't feel like these matches are supposed to be hard. How are they going to close the game in just blue-black? Is it like Dream Eaters, or is there at some point going to be a splash for like Chromium or Bolas or something? We have been smooted. Maybe they've got that 3-3 Hexproof, bro. Does Doom Whisper win games of magic, or is it just like a magic card? I'm not sure which. I've never lost to a Doom Whisper yet. I guess it's the first time for everything. I cast you. 
So Doom Whispers and Dream Eaters probably. Dream Eaters a card I've lost to. Lost to that card a lot. You notice we have a second Midnight Reaper. Hey, they do have Dream Eaters. They had one in their hand too. That's kind of odd. So we're just going to smoot my stuff away, I guess. That's fine. They still have six cards. Those don't really help. That doesn't really help. Now they have seven cards and an Ascanta. Should probably own F6. Wait. You're to the part of the game where you're probably discarding. It's probably better to use Ascanta than a Chemister. Card selection seems better than card quality when you have seven cards already in your hand. On Carnage, it's your time to shine. That doesn't seem useful either. Like, they've already saw a memorial to folly from us. Oh, okay. If they actually have white mana, I apologize. It does make sense if they have white mana and they needed the white mana for something. I was thinking that they were just a black green or a black white deck, or sorry, a black blue deck. I've never actually saw Dream Eater in a three color deck, other than the Grixis deck, anyway. Let that resolve first. And there's just like Esper, some with cards. All right, Carnage Tyrant. There's two of you in the main deck for a reason. It's your time to shine. That's not shining. No, not another one. We'll never beat another one. Your time to shine. Carnage Tyrant, go do dinosaur things. I'm only sad that he doesn't pop out and roar at my opponent like on Arena. Still have a chemist's insight they can use. This thing is just a 5 5, ain't it? It's a 4 3. It's even worse than I thought. Carnage Tyrant, bring me my trophy. And by trophy, I mean game win. I think I'm just going to attack them and ignore the Teferi. I haven't decided yet.
I don't think this is going to resolve, but I'm tempted just to put two counters on the Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. There's some in the sideboard. I really just don't want to attack this. I feel like he's just going to have more. Yeah, I'm just not attacking it. Whatever. Do have two in the board? We will force them to contempt of their own Teferi. Again, unless he's already got whatever he needs in his hand, I'm pretty sure using Ascanta is better than just using Insight here. Could already have what he needs in his hand, though. So, without knowledge of his hand, I can't say that it's completely wrong. It just doesn't feel right. That feels good. Here, I'll cast something for you so you can gain some more life of a moment of wheat craving or something. You're welcome. Oh, no, no. I just, I don't think they would have that in their deck, but yeah. I mean, there's things that can make me sacrifice a Carnage Tyrant. They could just have Chromium, too. That like chromium's just good enough, right? I guess chromium is a reason to cast chemistry's inside. So, let's draw a counter spell here. That'd be nice. <laughs> they are down to 15 cards, so. If they have uh, chromium, that'd be sad. Draw an Assassin's Trophy, or Contempt for the other Teferi. Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice card. It doesn't resolve, but it's still pretty nice. Your face! Bring me that Chromium. I only have two mana left. Oh. Maybe they just have Settled Wreckages in their deck. JK. Maybe they're just bluffing that they have Settled Wreckages in their deck. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, I'm going to bring the cards that I bring in every single time. Pretty much bring these cards in every game. I pretty much take this out, and this out, and these out almost every game. After that, I don't really know what I'm supposed to take out. It's like pretty good, but you generally only want to draw one, I feel. Hmm. Could just be Assassin's Trophies. Could just not want to draw a bunch of those. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Eh, 
Hey, we have no lands. As most seven spell hands do, do our hand looks amazing. All right, I'm going to keep it. We're on the draw with a mulligan, and our opponent's on five. We already have a Carnage Tyrant. It's probably our best card. I have a Vivian that's, like, kind of not great. I'm going to keep that just so I have something that I can technically try to resolve. Another card with black mana symbols in it. Goodbye. Goodbye. You will be missed as you get syncopated. I've only had a counter spell for you. To the graveyard, you're not land. Hey, you are land. Bye, Jade Light Ranger. We'll miss you. And our opponent's now missing lands. How lovely for us. Another land. Just gonna cast this one. I wanna play something that I think he'll use a counter spell on. Because I don't want to give him a chance to like resolve a chemist's inside or something here. Boom. I'm Carnage. Hello. How are you today? There's no commits in the format, so that's pretty sweet. We'll attack a Teferi this time with the life total they have. Not 100% sure whether I'm going to cast the Relic Seeker or these two spells. Well... That makes it pretty easy to decide which we're going to do. That's fine. I'd rather just play you and look for a land. That's not a land. Get on out of here to ferry. Casting something else. Hmm. Oh, it's just Chemistry's Insight main phase? People keep doing these main phase plays, and I'm not super sure about them. Because, like, that guy had specifically already played a land, even. Which is why it seems kind of, like, off to me. If he hadn't played a land, I'd understand. So even if they have a Cleansing Nova or something, which isn't unheard of, but doesn't feel likely, we can resolve a Relic Seeker now. Make sure they can't settle, at least. Oh, they just have nothing but Chromium. Should probably read Chromium, but this is funner. I know what Chromium does, though, but. So if they try to trade with this, we just go ahead and contempt it and make it small. And if they don't try to trade with it, they're just going to take four damage and we're going to play a Relic Seeker. Sorry, go. 
7 damage and we're going to play a Relic Seeker. Which gives us a 3 point attack, even if... We should win the game. Like, they have to find something, and if they have, if they do find something, um, it's not going to deal with this. So we just minus and it becomes a 1-1 one, one and trample through. Alright. Do we acquire a pity chest? Unfortunately, I don't get to open pity chests anymore. I have to save them to pay back corporate sponsor of Court Sean Corp. Sean Corp's name capitalized or not? It is not. Ah, hand's not explosive, but it is a keep. It is like really cold in my house. The heat's on, so that's kind of aggravating. Find us a nice find and finality then, I guess. We have Ritual of Smoot in the sideboard now. That's kind of useful in these matches. Oh, it's just some Bant something. I've not played versus Bant this season. I did have a Bant deck uh, requested from a user. It had four Evolving Wilds in it. I was... Um, Hesitant. Let's just leave it at that. I haven't said no, and I probably will, but I'm hesitant. <laughs> so our opponent's just playing Bant Fog, I guess. He's playing Charter Course, it has to be Bant Fog. It attacks. Anything that attacks is probably good enough then. Feels like anything that attacks is good enough versus Fog. I have not saw a Fog deck this season, so I have no idea what they're playing. This is a complete surprise. I'll probably punt pretty bad. Not a hundred percent sure what's even legal. Hey, I just realized we are at forty thousand two hundred and eighty views. Yay, past forty thousand. <laughs> Early or late. Oh yeah, definitely fog. Fogging it up over there, says our opponent. Says our rude boy opponent. Go ahead and cast this. If they have Cleansing Nova or whatever, we'll draw two cards. I guess this technically attacked for one more, but wanted the ability to draw two. Wah, wah, wah. We do have this for the first one, which is not terrible, but please no settle opponent. Settle would be backbreaking. Attacking the Deferi to try to force them into casting a fog if they have it. Because if I just attack their life total, they're able to ignore it, and I want the fog cast. And hopefully they just won't have a second to ferry in their top, you know, 17 cards or whatever we're at. And they haven't so far.
to the face. Just cast more things for them to Nova away. As long as this thing's in play, casting stuff doesn't seem like it hurts because we get to redraw. Certainly don't want that. Don't know if they have ways to recur this. Could be like mission briefing and stuff, so I'll go ahead and get that. We only have an attack for 13, so we're not even representing lethal, and there's like a pretty good chance that they just have a removal spell anyway, or like a mass removal spell. That's a good one. Probably force the attack of everything then. JK. Opponent has another Teferi. Which means I just have to attack the Teferi with enough to kill it. And attack the only with the rest, I guess? Because I don't want to do that. I'm gonna keep one of my things. Again, I'm only attacking Teferi now to try to force them into using fog. Pink or purple? I'm sure it has. There's been purple on a lot of cards. Probably been pink on some cards. Ugh. Not the fairy number three under top 25. Would much rather that been like card 42 or something. Probably won't beat this one. I don't know, mission briefing. And keep letting us kill your Teferis. Our opponent begs to disagree. Well, it's three Teferis down. Uh, be disappointed and walk into dead. I actually have to attack with this too to present lethal. A hundred percent want to present lethal. I know settle the wreckage is just basically beats us at this point. He's not played anything to make me think he has that, so I want to cast something that forces him to have a fog. 
And if we just attack for 12 points of damage, he doesn't have to have a fog. There you go. Feldergriff. Feldergriff is pink. He's a pink hippo. We're still attacking for technically 16, so... Like, we are still theoretically forcing him to have a fog. He has a fog. Would love to draw another Assassin's Trophy. And have Glacial Fortress. Well, that one doesn't do us much good. At least we get the chemistry's inside. Yes. Go ahead and cast one of these. Probably pretty close to dead. Our opponent's playing briskly, though. Well, that's just not true. Pretty sure there's probably been females that, uh, Drew magic cards from the very beginning. Or at least close to it. I don't know names off the top of my head, but I'm just sure that they are. Alright, well, we're basically locked out now. Not a hundred percent that opponents got it locked, and like maybe we can draw another assassin's trophy. So I'm not going to concede, but like between double ass Kanta and only having twenty cards, like it's very reasonable that we don't get another turn. It's just not a hundred percent. We're in one of those situations where it's like We're getting to see more of his deck. They're at 14 cards, so... If they ever get to, like, 9 cards, they can see every card for the turn. So, I guess that's when we'll concede. Not pretty close to conceding. Me was that Nexus is that they showed us? I don't know. We'll let them cycle it. No, I think I think we're dead now. I think that's a hundred percent now. Cause I think they have two more draws. Yeah, that's a hundred percent now. We won't make them do it.
All right, so this seems fine here. This seems fine here. These seem fine here. This seems fine here. These seem fine here. I actually don't mind these either. Basically, I just want to speed my deck up as fast as possible. So I want to take out all of this slow stuff. I think Vivian's still good enough. Not sure about Carnage Tyrant. I don't think I want Theme Broker at all. Looking at eyeball and a magic. There is a magic card where somebody licks an eyeball. I think there's one where somebody stabs an eyeball too, if I remember right. I might not just want these. I might not want these at all. Whatever. Basically everything with a power and toughness that can be cast for three or less mana come in. Run into Wild Growth Walkers because if you like turn one a walker, turn two a Jade Light, that's like a lot of pressure early. I know the life game part of it is kind of irrelevant, but it's just another fast drop and I want as many fast drops as I can get. I don't, I don't know what one is. Let me Google that. Please don't let this be some foreign word for something that I don't want to see. Oh. Huh. Huh. It's, like, it's like part zebra or something. It's a forest giraffe or zebra giraffe. Are they dangerous is one of the first questions I read. Uh, this hand's bad, but we have multiple ways to kill it to fairy, so I think it's good enough. I don't want to cast a duress before they can play search for Ascanta, but I don't think I will. If I didn't have the Death Gorge Scavenger, I probably would, but I think the Death Gorge Scavenger will keep this somewhat in check. The more I think about it, the more I think this play was bad. I think I should have just went ahead and cast Duress. So I missed a point of damage. Guess we'll take this one. Yeah, I missed a point of damage there. That was a good draw. Well, I guess they can have this. I think giving them a fog's... Better than giving them a Teferi. So we know these are in their hand. May not be if we just keep drawing lands though. That negate in their hand is going to be kind of annoying at some point. <laughs> Howler monkeys are always fun. I 
Or we have another fog. I don't think I'm going to cast this right now. There's no reason just to jam it into a negate. I'd rather play two spells in a turn. So we're going to fog now. Maybe I sideboarded out too many creatures. I only side we sideboarded out five. They used one of those. So in theory, they only have one more that we know about. Well, they dumped one. That's probably bad for us. That's the second one of those we've got to kill now. We'd love to draw a duress to get during the gate, but we're probably going to get to resolve our Argyle's Bloodfast this turn anyway, because we're going to have to cast a fog. Did they, uh... Was I not paying attention and some other turn able to cast this Bloodfast post-combat? I can totally see that being a thing that could have happened this game. Potentially resolve the wrong one of these. It might have been better to resolve this and kill this. We got to pick which one we wanted, kind of. But, like, I could have just picked the wrong one. Yeah, now they get to flip to search for Ascanta. I, I punted this game pretty badly, I think. I don't know if I played the wrong one. Like, one of them's more consistent, and the other one, it depends on what's on top of their deck. Turns out what's on top of their deck's been pretty damn good. They have another fog, we're going to be in bad trouble. Like, I'm expecting to get at least three more turns. So it really comes down to the top of the decks if I'm expecting to get three more turns. I would not have killed their search for Ascanta ever. The thing is, I would not have targeted Search for Ascanta, ever. I would have targeted the Gift of Paradise to stop them from being able to play the Nexus of Fate.
That, that's where the difference of those two come from, I think. I wouldn't have targeted the search for Ascanta. If I was going to... Co- they have another search for Ascanta in their hand that I know about. Like, they already have another search for Ascanta that I know about. In their hand. So, if they didn't have the other search for Ascanta in their hand, then maybe I would have did that. But, like, they literally just have to have a fog, and then they just replaster other search for Ascanta, and then we're back in the exact same situation that we are. So, I would have targeted the Gift of Paradise to, like, try to stop them from being able to cast the Nexus of Fate. Also, don't know that I'm dead. That's not the one from his hand. He's discarded no extra cards this game. That was just a random third one. There's still one in his hand for sure. He's cast no charter courses or nothing to let him discard a card. That just come from a random search for Ascanta trigger. That's not the one that's in. He's got one in his hand. 100%. Unless you're saying he cast it and legend ruled it and I didn't notice, which that's possible. Maybe I didn't notice the legend rule. I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do here. Search for the Carnage Tyrant technically puts a lethal out there. I know I'm killing this. That's easy. So one, two, three, four, five. Plays that. Untaps two. Then he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can just go off with another one, like, really, really easily. I think I'm going to draw cards. Alright, I'm going to stop at that one. I guess I'll draw another card to see if it's a land now. Trying to get a little bit lucky. I did not get lucky. It was their third Teferi, though. So, what's the odds that they draw a fourth Teferi? Thirty some cards left. They've got quite a few turns to draw it. I need another explore creature, though, so I'm presenting lethal. Monsters insight to their hand. That's a good one. Definitely drawing cards now. Like this one's an easy draw. Alright, so this presents lethal. We'll leave that card on top for now. If they have a settled wreckage, we'll draw it. If they just have a fog, we're fine. Probably cast a midnight bargain if it's just a fog. No, we'll probably cast the Death Gorge Scavenger actually if it's just a fog. I don't know. If they have any way to shuffle those back in, I don't know if there's a way to shuffle those back in in this format, but I'm not going to risk it. We know he has a Chemist's Insight too, so I kind of want the Death Gorge Scavenger down for the next turn because of that. So most of their fogs, right? So it's one, two, two and two, three and three. So that's six fogs. Are you a fog? You are a fog. Minus two to everything, though, so we're still attacking for lethal through that particular fog. And we're not attacking for lethal through it with that. We're only attacking for six total. That puts them at eight. So 
Now they have to decide whether they're going to gain life or whether they're going to cast the inside, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. They could have anything. Just taking another turn. They had that. I feel like that was a pretty easy cast. Just cast that and see if you find a Teferi. The problem with doing everything that they're doing right now is like, if they hit a Teferi and have to put it on the bottom, that's like, kind of bad for them. Alright, well this is kind of bad. I'm hoping for a duress. None of those cards helped. Let's stop here if enough mana to still uh, present lethal, assuming that we get another turn. Though there's a good chance we just don't get another turn now. I feel like I should have killed this gift of paradise a long time ago. I feel like it was a large mistake that I didn't kill the Gift of Paradise. It's weird. I wonder why they didn't use the one to let them draw a card. Do they just not need a card? We should stop revealing those when it shuffles them back in. Alright, so we're dead at this point. Shouldn't be playing this card in my opinion, but whatever. Short. Sure. Wow, we're going to get another turn? Alright, maybe we'll be able to chain our draws into something. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. That's potentially helpful. Sure. Come on, be something. That's not really anything. Guess I can look at one more card. Extra, I shouldn't. Um, should attack first, just in case it's settled wreckage. Yes, yes, I know your chill's good. It also lets them draw an additional card. In case we do hit the third duress. Third duress, be there. You can do it. You didn't do it. Oh, crap. Accidentally revealed on my hand. They conceded. Why did they concede? They can still win this game, right? Like, aren't they a favorite to still win this game? Did they side it to ferry out? Did they sideboard it to ferry out? What? Uh, my hand hurts. I don't understand.
think on the draw, I kind of want these back in. I think I want them in over Relic Seekers on the draw, because, like, killing... Uh, killing their enchantments is relevant, right? I like killing their enchantments is relevant. Maybe I just don't want the Carnage Tyrants. Like, Carnage Tyrants are really slow. It seems like they don't actually have removal spells, so maybe I just want everything that can kill an enchantment. Uh, I think I only... I, I don't know. I don't think I made that many questionable decisions. I think I have to mulligan, which is disappointing. Uh, we'll keep this because we're on the draw with a scry. If we wouldn't keep this at 7 and we wouldn't keep this on the play. Alright, please be a land in my next two draws. That's not a land. I wonder if I should have kept that. I think this was a play mistake. I feel like I should have kept that. Didn't get punished, but still. This is tilting. Like, I really want this card, but I really need the lands. Well, we knew he had an uncomfortable chill in his hand. So I wanted to present lethal every single turn. If he's got an uncomfortable chill in his hand and it gives minus two, minus uh, O to all my things, I was having to over attack. Uh, this is another one of those cards that I really want, but I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to take or not. I guess I'll keep it. If I hadn't saw the uncomfortable chill, I would only attack with what was lethal like I did the entire game one. But I was playing around a card that we saw both game one and uh, that he could have had in game two. I'm going to attack with all of this. Red Rover, Red Rover, send us a land on over. That's not a land. That's not a land. Alright, well, and the positive note is... Like, we're presenting lethal the rest of the game. The unpositive note is they're going to get multiple extra turns if they choose. Like this turn, I'm only going to attack with these three. I don't think they're actually running Settle, but I'm still going to play around Settle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they Settle me, I just win even easier. We can get two cards out of their hand, assuming we get another turn. They discarded a fog there. It's actually a bit on the frightening side. Guess this game's over? 
they're doing all that now, I, I would generally only do all that if the game was over. Literally just going to attack with everything here. So, face, face, face. That beats uncomfortable chill. Oh, God dang it. We should stop doing that. Four lands versus a thousand lands just isn't good enough. Go ahead and sacrifice this because we have Memorial to Follies and maybe we can get it back. Like, I would like to have given up like two of these spells for another way to like win the game. Or for another way to like. Two of these spells for two lands and I'd have felt like I was in a lot better shape. All right, well, we know what's in their hand, and we know what they're going to cast. We just have to hope that they also don't have... Basically, praying that they also don't have a negate. They've already used one negate. They have the second, so that's just going to be game. very unfortunate like I don't think they can win the game in three minutes but I don't think I'll take the win like that well let's see uncomfortable chill does nothing here so I would rather take the chill Make them have another fog, I guess. Don't have the third negate, please. They have the third negate. All right. I guess that's just not a beatable hand. We had really good spells this game. We just couldn't deploy our threats. That's a bad sign. He's got a Nexus of Fate over here that he's choosing not to get, so... They can still brick off from here. Like, it's not 100%. Really depends on what's in their hand. Again, we're in one of those situations where they're, like, probably 98% and higher, but 
Yeah, well, there is some chance that all three Nexuses get to the bottom of their deck or whatever. They have 21 cards left. Doesn't seem like it's a very likely one since they've hit every time, but... Now, I said, we're drawing at paper-thin margins here. Another Nexus of Fate. That's probably good enough to win. Yeah, that's good enough to win now. We'll take... We'll let them go through one more draw or a turn step just to make sure. Again, we could take the Pity Chest if we wanted pretty easily, but that's just not the type of player I am. I don't think they can close this game in um, a minute and 25 seconds. It's going to make them take like one or two turns, just in case. They didn't cast one this time, did they? Oh, okay, there it is. Like, if they've just got them all in their hand, then I guess it's fine. But, like, they could brick. Like, right there was a brick, technically. Like, if they don't cast one this turn, we could still technically draw something, I guess. This game's locked now, though. It's 100%. I'm going to stop F6-ing. Wait. I'll just tell him GG. I'll let him kill my two permanents, and I'll concede. So we'll just tell them, uh, good luck and concede. I would feel, I feel like we're a pretty strong favorite versus this style of deck. Like, I felt like we got pretty unfortunate game one. And maybe I didn't make all the correct decisions. Game two... Just mulligan and couldn't deploy our threats. It's just part of it. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Maybe I didn't sideboard right either. Unfortunate. Anyway, so... Still can't stand these black-green decks. I don't actually understand how they win. We usually beat them on stream. But, like... Everybody else dominates with them, so that means it has to be user error, and I just don't understand uh, what I'm doing wrong. This build felt fine, though. Like, if I was going to play Black Green, I'd probably run this build back. There's nothing that I really disliked about it. It, it makes sense to me. I think I wouldn't mind some... Eldest Reborns or whatever it's called in the sideboard. Not sewed on the cast down in the main deck, but other than that, I really liked everything else the deck was doing. Our first couple of rounds were plagued with just missing our third land drop over and over and over. But we have 24 lands, so I don't think it's that we need to add more lands to the deck to hit a third land drop. And not only do we have 24 lands, we have 8 things to help us like explore or whatever. Oh, that just doesn't feel right to me when I play it. But, like, like we know people are winning with it. Like, Ginger, for example, has got six trophies with it. And he, well, I guess, I think he said three of them were from this deck. I think Random Drooler's still playing Grixis last I talked to him. But, like, they're not Random Drooler. Uh... uh... 
VTCLA, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, Daniel Fournay's on Black Green as well. I don't know. I can't win with it, and I don't know why I can't win with it, so it has to be user error. It doesn't feel that complicated of a deck, though, so I don't know how exactly it's user error. And that's what bothers me about the deck. I don't. I know I'm losing, and I know I'm losing that I, when I shouldn't, and I don't understand why I'm losing. Uh, we just finished Singe. Like that's literally uh, round five. Just like breaking the deck down. I don't know. I'll be back sometime potentially um, with Drake's, but I'm definitely going to go have breakfast now. I've still not ate today. Um, but thanks everybody for coming by. Um, I think I'm going to turn the Sean Corp thing off. Uh, there, was, there wasn't much to watch. There was a bunch of non-games played. I feel, I feel like there was only one game that was actually a game. Or one match that was actually a match. The rest of it felt like just a bunch of non-games. Where like, either I or them got screwed beyond belief. Um, but I'm going to go uh, host um, Brad, who is also playing the same type of deck. Uh, he's playing Golgari. He's a better player than me. I don't know. Anyway, take care, everybody, and thanks for stopping by. There'll be a mono blue, uh, mono blue obsession decks. What I call it anyway, mono blue, <laughs> or mono blue shitters is what some people calls it. Um, be a video going up on YouTube sometime later today. It is an arena video though. There's eight matches on the. But anyway, take care.